Yeah, a lot of the services we provide are not just unique to West Texas. I mean, we have clinicians that are certified. We may only see four or five patients a year that have a certain thing that that, that uh, therapist is certified for. And some, those folks in, throughout Texas will find us. Uh, we've had issues with cranial remodeling helmets for kids are no longer reimbursed. Uh, you know, hearing aids for Medicaid for kids, are, they'll only reimburse for one of them. And there's a lot of those types of services that people have to come from all over the states. Last year we saw patients from over 20 different states and 297 different cities and towns uh, throughout the state of Texas and other states. And we also see a big population of military. So we see a lot of folks that'll be stationed here but are from somewhere else, either in Texas or throughout the United States. We see a lot of students at our universities in our different towns that, that come from all over the United States that receive services for us as well. So um, it's just, it's a very unique niche, very unique to our location. It's very rare anywhere in the country to see all of these services under one roof. You'll see hospital facilities that have PTOT and speech but they don't have all of the other services. You'll see hospice facilities that basically are standalone hospices, but they're not affiliated with all these other programs and services we have. So that, that makes us very unique in this medical community. Our 53rd Annual Telethon, it's actually our largest fundraiser. We actually do 47 fundraisers a year uh, because between what we do on the fundraising side and between what our foundation provides, we're tasked with making up $8 million a year between what it costs to provide service and what we actually get reimbursed. And so that's what the telethon's all about. So our hope is on January the 21st that we'll raise over a million dollars that night. It's, uh, it's a way to tell our story. We'll have a lot of patient stories. Uh, but Aaron Watson, uh, you know, local homegrown artist that does a lot of great stuff throughout the Texas, throughout the rest of the country, is going to be there. Tennille Arts, who's an up and coming country music singer. Um, actually, she was named, uh, I think, one of the top 10 women of country to watch in the next year. Uh, Arielle Hutchins, which is a regional Texas country artist. Red Stegall and the Boys in the Bunkhouse. Red is a legend. Um, you know, throughout this area and, uh, and around the country. And then Charlie Chase, who's, uh, you know, syndicated Crook and Chase show in Nashville and has been around for a long time and he hosts the show that night. So it's going to be a great, great, great night of entertainment, auction, uh, and just celebrating the West Texas rehab and the patients we serve each and every day.